Hey everyone, so we're going to be showing off a NetFlow analysis demo using Blazing SQL, the GPU SQL engine that's built on Rapids, uh, the open source GPU data science stack, and Graph History, a graph visualization platform that's basically going to let us take some raw data from Apache Parquet, talking about 65 million events of NetFlow data. Um, we're going to process it with Blazing SQL. And then we're going to render the data points that we get of the analysis of the nodes, the edges, etc., in graph history. So we can try to detect anomalous activity inside of network traffic. So let's get started with that through a NetFlow analysis demo. So basically, all we're going to do is import a few different packages that we need. Then we're going to be basically setting the path of the HDFS file system that we're going to be using and pointing all the Apache Parquet files that we're going to actually be querying. This is our engine actually currently doesn't support strings, so we just have to decode the IP addresses in our NetFlow analysis back into strings so that the information makes sense uh, to the user whenever we output it. And then this is the actual process uh, that Blazing SQL will be taking over for querying data in Apache Parquet format. So first we're registering the file system. Uh, once we register the file system, we're creating the tables. These are just pointing straight to Parquet files. So the actual schema is being pulled off of the metadata from those Parquet files. And then we write a SQL statement. You can see this is a pretty basic SQL statement. We have some coalesce statements. We have some counts going on, some sums. We're grouping by source IP and destination IP. And we're also joining it with some other metadata from a pretty small table that just lets us know a little bit more about the network that we're analyzing. So we're going to submit this to run. Um, it's going to be loading all of those Parquet files straight from HDFS into GPU memory, into a GPU data frame. And then it's actually going to be applying this query. And you can see that finished. It took roughly like six or seven seconds. Most of that time, about 95% of that time is actually the load. The query itself, it's on a five gigabyte data set ran in about 890 milliseconds. So we're going to take that data. We're then going to put it all into Graph History, which is a graph visualization platform built on GPUs as well. And it's going to let us basically map out that network. So you see it's now doing the clustering for that network. And it's pretty. it's a pretty nifty app where we can quickly, you know, try to isolate some errant activity. Uh, so I'm just going to do that real fast to show how it works. You know, so we're getting things that have high attempt counts. We're then getting rid of these isolated nodes. We're then going to chart or graph these to be a little bit closer together so that we can see this network in a single view. And we're going to get close. All right, let's check it out. So here you can see it. And then if we want to see something like target ports, that's a pretty obvious identifier of someone that's doing something nefarious with the network. So. Here we're going to just category, put a gradient on these so you can see these edges. And you can see here, for example, it's quite red, which means that here someone's actually trying to attack a lot of ports. So that's how you can use Blazing SQL, the GPU SQL engine, with Graph History, the GPU graph visualization platform, uh, to do some very fast NetFlow analysis. Thank you.